The bus is still here. Yep. Hey guys, look. I can't get it off of them. I've seen worse, believe it or not. I love these windows. Yeah, they're cool. I think they're so cool. See the bottoms rotted. Yeah. But I believe they sell any panel you need for a bus. Welcome back to the community, everybody. And thank you all for being part of it. I really, really appreciate it. And if you can, drop down into the description and please make a donation if possible. It really keeps these videos going and helps with supplies. And I want to thank all of you who have donated. It has been so helpful keeping these videos up. Trust me, it helps. And I do donate at the end of the year. I always pick a place to donate at Christmas time, you know, with some of the proceedings we make. And uh, what did you have to say? Well, I got the new logos done. Thank you. Um, not a problem. Took some time, but I did get it done. So if you want to check out the website, we have t-shirts, stickers, all kinds of stuff. Here's the logo here. And um, if you go on the description, you can get your stickers now. They're cheap, four bucks, shipped to your house. Not a problem. Nice vinyl. Yeah, they're they're high vinyl. We uh, did the old school. Yeah, so, the old school. And you did a great job. Uh, Vintage76, a friend of mine, did ask if you make another logo soon or any time in the I future. I am going to work on one soon. Well, what he wondered, and I understand this, uh, we always do the older Beatles. Uh, the next one we're going to do will be like a 68 and up with the headlights that you're like more used to seeing in the 68 and up Beatles. So we do plan on that vintage 76. See, I do listen. Mm -hmm. And also, I know this is a long intro. I'm sorry. I need to bring things up. Thank you, Uncle Bon. Yes. Popularity contest. Uh, I, I love his personality. He has a great YouTube channel right here. And he has been a friend to me. We spend a lot of time on the phone. We spend a lot of time chatting. Oh, yeah. And he is the biggest supporter with donations. And he has a great channel. Yeah, he does. He a does. great personality. I hope to see him somehow in the, in the near future in some way, shape, or form. Uh, okay, we had to get all of that out today. I'm sorry. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're getting ready to leave. We're going down to the salvage yard and see what's going on, and you're not bringing anything home. Uh, I am going to check on a 1970 that's there for my son. He wants me to build a Baja on my channel for the next project at his cost, but he wants me to do a Baja for him. So this will get tricky because he will go extreme with it. So that ought to be a lot of fun as the next project. Uh, I am still currently trying to find a Fastback or a Gia for Heather, it's going to take time. Money only goes so far. Uh, today, we're going to hit the salvage yard. I need a Z bar for the 68. So I figure while I'm there checking on this Baja situation and some other things, he said some more things are in at the VW scrapyard, or I should say property. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check and see about a Z bar for this because there's a couple there with them. So I got my equi with, equipment with me. And hopefully you can watch me take a Z-bar off, how they come off, and bring one home. So enough chit-chat. Uh, we'll go ahead. I've got the GoPro on the side of the truck. I'm taking Let's the camera go. on the inside. <laughs> she wants to go. Let's, Let's go. go. Come Let's... on, guys. All right, so we're on our way down right now and uh, doing our salvage yard run. But I definitely want to go down and get a Z-bar. He said there's three or four down around some cars, so I brought a lot of tools Uh torches, everything to break nuts loose, because the one from uh, my beetle, the nuts broke the studs off because they were stuck. So I came prepared to get one. Z-bars aren't as hard to come across. We'll see what kind of shape they're in, but it's always fun going to the salvage yard. I enjoy, enjoy it. Heather does, as long as she don't try to bring anything home. There's a chicken coop down there, guys, made out of a beetle. <laughs> It's, he brought it's a, a beetle see. back. It's a 65, but somebody had made it into a chicken coop like 30 years ago. And I guess they got in touch with him and said, you know, do you want it? You know, and he said, yeah, I'll come and get it. 
But there's, you know, there's transaxle in it. There's good parts on it. I think there's a good solid front beam. But she wants chickens really bad, so he's going to keep this, though. But it would have been really cool. Our township's not as uh, user-friendly with stuff. Yeah, but we haven't had anything against ducks. No, we can get ducks and have duck eggs. <laughs> Yum. I need to move her out into the middle of the country and have a big Slade's garage in the middle of the woods working on them. But we'll see. That's That could come in time. We don't know. That's moving. Unless you all want to get together and help me move. But uh, I did put the GoPro on the side of the truck, which I'll be snapping in place shortly and recording. And that way you can enjoy the ride a little bit with some music and not listen to my mouth the whole time. But it's always fun to do the salvage yard run. Uh, we'll see what else has changed down there. If it got organized better. Uh, but uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the side of the truck and you can enjoy the ride. And when we're almost there, I'll pop back in and I'll put some music on and I'll speed it up for you. So hang tight. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Ready for fun? Yes, I am. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All righty, we are here. And before I try to get a Z bar, we're gonna take a look. Oh, this got a one piece front end, huh? I wonder what he's doing with that. Wow. That's weird. I've yeah. never seen that before. I've seen one piece front ends, but not like this one. I'm sure he'd be willing to sell it off. I mean, he did pay for the car. He didn't get it for free. Oh, wow. I'm dying to look inside. <laughs> you would be. Is it cold? I mean... It's a chicken coop. Yeah, you're fussy. <laughs> I mean, I... I just couldn't see ruin in a beetle to do this. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and I, I would think that it doesn't look very cozy. Let's inside. look inside. Oh, it's for chickens. I mean, let me I try know, to get the... Oh, there we go. Chickens are people, too. All the dash pieces... No, they're not. All the dash pieces are in there. I don't know if this will open. Oh, yes, it did. Sort of. Ugh. Let's look inside. Oh, yeah. Still got the dash pieces all in it. Part of a fiberglass seat. They made some type of frame. Oh, let me try to get this door shut. There we go. Big tires and wheels, huh? <laughs> Wide five. 
Now, there is a swing axle transmission. I like the tires. That one piece front end is cool. I know, I like that. But they have the pop-ups, pop-ups windows on the wrong side. Oh my God, you're right. This one goes over there and the other one goes over here. How the heck did you catch something like that? I don't know, it just didn't look right to me. <laughs> no, you're right, they, they put each one on the wrong side. I guess they did it so they could open it from the outside, even though it's screwed into place. Good catch, I wouldn't have caught that, so they ruined some original German ones, but it is what it is. Huh. Now, that's the chicken coop deal. I think he said it got a good front beam on it too, which it looks to. Good, good kingpin. What else do we have here? We have that other Baja. Let's go over and look at this a second again. This also had a one piece front end. Looks like it got rid of some stuff everything's inside of it this would have been a fun one to do okay oh she wants the nose yeah they got a lot of parts stuffed in it hey there's a good swing axle here yeah, there is. He has quite a few swing axles around. I always wonder if they're any good or they're good cores. Good, good spot. Good spot. There's a mate spoke wheels I wanted. But then again, I'm going to be running the regular steel wheels wider in the back. Where do you get all that fencing? <laughs> Probably for that. here to block the road. There's another. I think this one's been here. I think this, let me back up. Yeah, I think this is the one he just brought back. It is. That's a 1970. Take a peek under the back, see if there's a motor in it. Yep. Oh, there is. Oh, that's a single port. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. I was looking around. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, single port. Huh. Looks like everything's there. Even somebody had new wires on it. A new coil. They must have had problems. They can get it to run. Generator's still on it. I think this is the 70 he was talking about that he picked up. Nice door panels. Good shape. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, you hate There's headliners. Some rips in it. <laughs> Just patch the darn things. Don't look bad. Of course, you and I can't get underneath it right now, but steering wheels in there, some dash pieces, the door panels. We go around the other side. like the trunk's unlatched. Watch you don't fall over that hillside. Huh. A little bit of rot, but nothing major. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, it smells like pine. And there you go. It was sitting near pine trees. <laughs> This one might be saveable. I don't know until I get underneath. I could have swore he said something crazy about this one, though. With the, uh, the floor work or something was really shoddy. I'm pretty sure. Well, there's some, there's some trunk lids. So that's pretty cool. That looks like a type 3 lid. Privacy fence. I wonder if he'd let go some of that. Look at all the 4x4s. 
He needs seats. to give me some of those. All the seats. And fenders. Lots of fenders. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. I smell a dead animal. Up, oh, your house is gone. It's all gone. Might as well take a walk back here because I think you'll remember it for another video. Wow, I could use some of that big rock. Uh, here we go with the rock. I need a we'll tractor back trailer, to the, though. We'll get back to the salvage yard in a second. Look at this rock. Wow. Nice clearing back here. Whoa, what's this? I wouldn't want that rock falling down. That's what smashed the house that was sitting here. I know you like to be daring, but don't don't go near that. If that collapses. Look at that. That is cool. Ooh, that's a cistern. I like Look at that it. big piece of rock over it. <laughs> wow. Look at that rock. That ain't stable. If them trees are on top of it. Wow. And that's just where the house was. There's part of the foundation. Okay. The bus is still here. Yep. Hey guys, look. I can't get it off of them. I've seen worse, believe it or not. I love these windows. Yeah, they're cool. I think they're so cool. See the bottoms rotted. Yeah. But I believe they sell any panel you need for a bus. It's a split. Everything's stacked against it now. Doors, 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 doors. Doors galore. Well, it'd be something to get that bus, but it is some serious work, no doubt. If anybody needs doors. Okay, I definitely have to find some Z-bars. So we're going to take a peek and see which one has one. There's a sunroof one. I think that's a 70. I'm not going to be able to get back to it right now. That's the one I wanted to look at for my son for a Baja, but I'll try to do that before we leave and see. All kind of stuff here. I want to take a ride in a buggy. <laughs> the buggy. <laughs> yeah, this they're looks fun. fun. Oh, I'm sure like, it would be. Scary fun. I think that's Chuck's. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this Chuck, is Chuck's. Chuck, you need to redo this. He will. He's got so much going on all the time. This and I'm sure cool. he will. There's no doubt. He had it running. I do know that. He was messing around with it. Okay, let me see. Let me find a Z-Bar. I know he said there was some down here. <coughs> oh. Okay, I guess I could try to jack it up. There's one there. I can give that one a try, although it looks really crusty, so I don't know. If the bolts are going to come apart without it breaking. Well, Super Beetle. That would be a 73. It has the curved windshield. And it got the flat bumper blades. Yep. So it's a 73. Good catch. I think you've been around the shop too long. Okay. Nothing back there for a Z-Bar. <laughs> I think... No, there's not one on here. That one's smoked. Okay, let me see if there's another one here before I start trying to get that up in the air. And swearing and all that. But don't worry, I don't swear in the film. Let me get back over the entrance part where there's some. And see. And I have to definitely stop and see the Mercedes for Vintage 76. What is this one here? This blue one? 
Wait, I think that's Chuck's. Pretty sure. No, there ain't one on there anyhow. Okay. And as promised, oh, there's one there too. That might be easier on that one. What do you think, Vintage? You need this car, buddy. You do. You need this car. And the keys are in it. We can drive off. I forget the mileage on this. And we have 42, oh, 420,000, I guess. I don't know if that's a tenth on the end, you know? Still got the phone from the 80s. This car actually runs, he found out, runs really good. And the body's in good shape for being northeast, you know? Look at that, that's all you, hon. Yep. Peace signs and all, that's you. <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness. He must have took the dozer and got it up on the hill. That is really cool. I love stuff like that. Okay. Say hello. <laughs> And there's your pickup truck that he will not sell you. I know. I don't know why he's doing that to me. I swear he's doing it to be mean. He's a mean guy. He's a bully. And I'm nice to everybody. I know. He knows you like him. But he knows that I like this truck and he won't give it to me. That would be a good daily driver for you. I would drive it every damn day. Yeah, I know you would actually. You know, aggravate him. Reminds me of my dad. Yeah, I know it does. Maybe he will eventually. He does, I'll fix it up for you. And you could be driving it everywhere. Jeez. Come on, Evan. Come through for us. Okay, wait. We got to go over here because this does have a Z-bar. It's in the mud. I wonder if there's a way of me jacking this up. I brought my jack with me. Although... Okay, let me take a look here. And the Gia is still here. And there is a 67. And Doom Buggy Bodies. One, two, three. Three Doom Buggy Bodies. One's actually sitting on a chassis, the one right here. So that's pretty cool. This car is really smoked. A vert. A vert vert. Okay, let me catch We're up. We're going to try Heather. to get it off of the one. I'm not sure yet. Find out in a minute. I'm going to grab a jack and my fun bag and we'll go ahead try to get it up in the air and see what happens sometimes it's not as easy in a junkyard or a salvage yard you know but let's see here i need to get it up in the air <coughs> the z bars aren't as easy to come by so, I'm going to get this, torches, PB Blast, brought a little bit of everything, just in case. Everything, literally. Everything. Okay, so I'll use, where did my, I brought my one socket. Here it is. I think this is a 17. It'll zip it up quicker. It is. Alrighty. I come pretty well equipped, so to speak. Okay. I'm going to have to get it under here somewhere and try to get it up in the air. Let me see if this will work. You'll know if you see it going up in a second. Nope. That was too... Nope, that's rotted. I'm trying to get a solid spot to jack it up on. Oh, 
Uh-huh. That's actually a jack out of a Dodge Neon I had. So let's stick this under there, just in case it would come down. Maybe it won't come as far. All right, and let me put my spectacles on here. Gonna have to wire brush the nuts off. Always wire brush the nuts first, okay? And then get your PB Blast. Can you see it in here? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And I have to run and get the sockets from the truck. So we'll let that. Let me see here. Yeah, I'll try to get that off of him. Okay. Let me get some sockets out of the truck real quick. Give me a second, folks. You always got to come equipped. Always. Because you don't want to have to run back home for a tool. Okay. At first, so let's kind of... There we go. And... Okay, there we go. Once I get this off, as long as everything goes smooth here, I'll show you once I get it out what you got to do to make it right again. And we're going to shim it so that it actually has better control because the swing axles tend to lean, according to Nader, the bonehead. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We're going to show you how to put new bushings on and everything and how to shim it properly. Come on. Come on, get up there. I mean, I guess it's good. We'll see when I try to get it apart because this all looks rusted. But we'll do our best to refurbish it and bring it back. Okay. Come on. Okay, there's the cover. Mm. Put that in there. Come on, get off of there. I'm not a Z bar expert, but I believe this pries off. Yep, it should. This will actually be my first Z bar. There we go. Come on, there we go. So here's a bushing on there, slides onto it. Okay, so this side's off. We are going to go to the other side and try that. Let's wire brush. It's always good to clean the threads up because that lets the PB blast get in. I haven't need the torches so far. You can see that? Makes a difference. I mean, I could break the nuts off but just in case somebody would need this section of the car i try to be fair since he lets me come down here and pretty much do what i want this is actually the guy that we're doing the vw thing motor for it's a, kind of a trade-off for stuff okay almost there <laughs> so your good old whoop that nut flew no big deal good old swing axles don't the irs have these no that's a good question no uh, i believe he stopped in 67 so to speak but our 68 is an early 68 and i believe and i could be wrong uh 68 also came with an auto stick which was the irs or constant velocity joints whatever you want to call them but that was a good question uh irs so to speak or constant velocity joints they don't have the uh z bar it's kind of a failed attempt at 
a sway bar in the back. However, if you shim them properly, then you're okay. It tightens them up and they do a better job. Should have brought my gun over and hit it. Because it is coming. It's just being a little stubborn. Oh, almost. Okay. And let's get behind here. There's the one cap. I call it the outer cap. Okay. Then it slides right onto there. All right. So there's that. Get that out of there. There we go. Oh, it's a weird locking nut. And oh, I left the PB blast over there. <laughs> and this would be okay, this whole thing's gonna turn. So I am going to need vice grips. So it don't turn. Okay. I want to brush a little bit more. Okay. Alrighty. Hopefully. Alright. And it didn't break. that there there we go oh. <sighs> okay let's fire brush A little bit of PB blast. Hold with lace grips. Let's see if that'll spin off. Well, oh, that one came right off. Okay. And that. Okay. Let me put this on here a minute. Just for the heck of it. Maybe it'll help. What I would like to do is soak all this in evapo rust, and then I can take it apart and put all my bushings on. And then I'll show you when I get it out what I'm talking about. Let me get back to the other side now. now let's see. Can you see in here? Yeah. Let's see if I can get it out now. And do I hear the crowd cheering? Yep. Oh, this here is very important. If you can see how rusted and corroded all this is, I'm going to put this in a, like a pail or a bucket for you new guys and let it just soak in evapor rust. And hopefully I can get all this apart. And it'll all look like new when I refurbish it. So that is a Z-bar removal at a salvage yard. So let me get the jack down here. I'm going to put my stuff in a truck. We're going to check a couple other things here before we head back. Give me a second. You can watch me take it down if you want. And always be very cautious at a salvage yard. I live in Northeast. So honestly... Yeah, we have copper heads and stuff like that, but a lot of times you got to be careful because when you go into a salvage yard, you can run into rattlesnakes or anything underneath these cars. I kind of just don't care. So 
but you should. Always take caution. I have Heather with me. If I get killed, she can throw me in the back of the truck and we're good to go. <laughs> and there we go. This was out of a Dodge Neon that I had. And a lot of these come in handy for things like this. Just always be careful. If you see, I used a 4x4 that was laying here and I put it underneath to keep it from coming down. So always stay safe stuff like that. You never know when it's going to come in handy for you. So let me get my tools put away and I'll be right back. Okay, so you wanna go over, we'll check. Uh, we got our tools all put away. We're gonna check out that 70 Beetle and see if it's uh, salvageable to use as a Baja. So but first we gotta check out the truck. Oh, okay. You wanna see the truck again? Yes. Okay. These guys wanna see the truck too. <laughs> Did you hear a little bell ding? I think it's my phone. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you left it laying somewhere. Would you yeah, guys look at nice. that? So let's see under the hood. We'll look under the hood. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, my. Like a 307. Wow. I know you had it running. He took it for a short ride. Uh, I wish he'd sell us to you. I know it needs a lot of work, but... Yeah, this is, this is you. There's no doubt. It's you. It's locked. Which I don't blame him. Well, I don't blame him either. I mean, in all honesty. Can't see in there probably real good. I need this. I know. Come on, Evan, before I die, you'll regret this when I die. I even dyed the seat for him. That's the bench seat that was, uh... Oh, <laughs> it was meant to be. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, this is all you. You could use that as a daily. I would use it as a daily. It'd I be know. my gardening truck, my channel truck. Yeah, you ain't kidding. You could do a whole YouTube. Driving this around. Resto it. This would be fun. Lightly. Yeah, this would be fun. I'd keep it just pretty much the way it is. I don't know what year it is. 69? I can't remember what he told it's me. It's definitely 60s. I just can't remember what he said now. I'm not that good. Last that was on the road was 03. I'm sorry, 02. So, okay. I don't know what Chuck's doing with that beetle. Doesn't look that bad. I think he said he was giving it to you, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's go over here a minute and see the 70. I think it's this one. I'm almost sure this is the one. I'm never going to get in there right now to look at that. Let me go around the... Oh, you're squeezing in there. Can I get around the other side and come up through there? Um, I think so. Let me see. Yeah. Nope. There's an RS tranny in there. This is the one that we said could possibly make a good Baja. The one hood hinge is off for duck lid spring. It's not open, you say? Mm, I couldn't get it open. Oh. Yeah, this is the one the floor Ooh. pans were out of. Which ain't a big deal. I would just have to look it over a little better. Probably needs heat channels, I guarantee it. I can't tell. I like the red door panels. Let me go around this side here. See what's going on. The whole luggage rack is missing. The luggage rack. I didn't get to look back in there. Oh, crap. The floor pans are gone. So floor pans, luggage rack. He'd have to do a killer deal on this. 
This thing's rough, rough, rough. Yeah, it is. Looks good on the outside. Yeah, it does. I'd have to check the frame head, and he got too much stuff stacked here, so I'll do this. Check this another day. Oh my god. What? That's what you hang up like stuff in your house with. <laughs> they have them all along the bumpers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. Or the fenders. The frame head, and I'm not going to be able to. I'll have to come back down another day with him and try to look this over. All right, I got the trunk open. See, it was hit maybe. So, okay, I'll come down another day and see what the deal is with this and go from there because I really can't tell. So, oh, this must have been a door for the chickens. To get in and out of probably had a little ramp down there you see something here well they welded a new patch in for the chickens <laughs> okay oh, gas tanks in there kingpin huh Okay, so I'll have to come back down and get him to pull this out for me. He can hook his dozer up, pull it out, and then me and my son can go over it because that may be the next ball hop. All right, so we came and got what we needed. We got the Z bar. I'm going to do a, uh, a video on that soon, an in between video of how to get all the rust off of them threads, how to clean it up, and rebuild your rear sway bar for 60, half of 68 and back. Uh, did you have fun today? Absolutely. Good. Thanks. I, I heard thanks coming. for bringing me. I like bringing you, and you didn't take nothing home today, so that's good. I want the truck. <laughs> I know. We're going to try to get her the truck. I, I don't know if he'll sell it. He said no. Come on, guys. Don't you think it would be great for my channel? It would be my mascot. <laughs> you would drive it every day. You really would, in all honesty. It would give me incentive to film. Yeah, it would. I mean, in all honesty... I appreciate Heather helping more than she realizes. I'm going to try to get her into some more films. Uh, and I'm a, since she's starting back her channel back up, I'm going to let her give a little plug right here with the name of it. Heather's Haven. And here's what it looks like. If you can subscribe there, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, she has a lot of cool stuff on there. I do put up Volkswagen stuff yeah. once in a while. Yeah. I put up like... Just videos of abandoned beetles and stuff like that that I find. Right. So. You do. And she does a lot of stuff. Your wives may even be interested if you're a guy watching this, which she does a lot of gardening tips and stuff. But you do a lot of unique stuff. So, I mean, if you want to check it out, I'd appreciate it. And we're going to go get ice cream now. I'm going to take her to Dairy Queen. So I think that'll be cool. I don't know if you have those near you. But thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, and thanks for the support. I'll be on Sunday night live chat at 9 p.m. Eastern time. If you've made it this far in a video, say, yes, I made it, and we'll see you soon.